Welcome to another tutorial for the TI-30X Plus MathPrint Calculator. In this session, I'll demonstrate how to solve a simple problem related to the normal distribution. Two brands of light bulbs are being compared. The lives of each brand of the light bulbs are normally distributed. Brand A has a mean life expectancy of 600 hours with a standard deviation of just 50. Brand B has a mean life expectancy of 700 hours with a standard deviation of 100. A light bulb is considered defective if it has a lifespan of less than 500 hours. A consumer makes the following statement. Brand A is more likely to be defective than brand B. Is the consumer's claim correct? Let's have a look. I'll start by looking at brand A. On the calculator, press second function, then data. Arrow across to distribution and select normal cumulative distribution function, normal CDF. Enter the mean, 600, followed by the standard deviation, 50, then arrow down. A light bulb is considered defective if it lasts for less than 500 hours. So enter 0 for the minimum hours and 500 for the maximum. Then select Calculate. We see the probability of a defective light bulb for brand A is approximately 0.02275. I'll store the result in X. Now select Solve again. This time we'll put in the hours for brand B a mean of 700 and a standard deviation of 100. The conditions which the light bulb was considered defective are the same as before. So navigate down to Calculate. We see that the probability appears to be the same. This time I'll store the result in Y. I'll quit from the distribution menu and recall the values of X and Y. We see the values are the same. But why? To understand, let's look at the two graphs. Each is normally distributed. But when we convert them to a standard normal distribution, we see the region required for both is exactly the same. We can also see this from the Z scores. The clue here is that the restriction is the same number of standard deviations away from the mean or, in general, the same distance from the mean. For more problems like this one, download the free question sheet using the link in the description below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates as more tutorials are added to this series. If you have any questions about this tutorial, or would like to request a different topic or question, use the comments section. Thanks for watching.